let's show the players out there how amazing our new i mean we have different <laughs> ground textures yeah, now yeah. depending on we we see a a, a new new tool here and yeah. we have depending on what kind of tool you're using of course you're going to get different ground types so maybe we want to talk about that a little bit exactly so uh here we got a disc arrow so mm -hmm. you can see um, it has a lot of small discs that are rotating and are yeah like cutting the ground and and um yeah mixing it a bit, little bit yeah so um it's a bit different from a normal cultivator mm -hmm. a cultivator works a bit more in depth and, yeah, and they really really changes the, in. the look of the ground and yeah now let's just enter here our case magnum mm -hmm. it's also a new tractor um you already showed that on on some screenshots um it's a brand new uh magnum series um also with the 400 oh and That's you also new. see here something we had in fs19 with the um with the platinum add-on i believe our crawlers that are now fully yeah exactly three-dimensional yeah. as well yeah we introduced that with the um class dlc yeah and yeah now we got it on basically all of the vehicles mm -hmm. so if you have a close look here uh, and you drive you see that yeah it's three-dimensional and yeah it's moving um really really pretty but before yeah. we start you of course need to attach uh, oh, your yeah, disc yeah. arrow in the back <laughs> nearly forgot that <laughs> <laughs> so let's head back to my disc arrow so uh also a new disc arrow from uh case so mm -hmm. yeah it's like the first time we, we got from case also um, some more tools yeah um, normally we, we only had tractors and combines and that stuff but now we got also um, some tools here so uh, let's unfold it there's also every time i see these machines unfold especially larger ones i always have to think of integrators like yourself yeah so many different parts to animate to yeah, get these really. things just look yeah. beautifully yeah, sometimes it's really difficult, um, especially if the tools get really wide. Yeah. So for also for American uh, cultivators. And when they start unfolding yeah, in sections yeah. and sections. So sometimes it's really <laughs> tricking and taking a lot of time to, to implement it well. Yeah. And to have it as realistic as possible. Mm -hmm. So uh, now we unfolded it and then we can... Yeah, just and now let's see what all it. the fuss is about with these new and nice uh, crop types. Yeah, so... Uh, ground types, not crop types, of yeah, course. <laughs> <laughs> the ground types. So uh, if we cultivate now, we can see that there's also um, some straw still. Mm -hmm. So the stubbles of, of the field are still um, in the ground. Yeah. So if you would drive now with a cultivator, um, it would look different. Yeah. Because the cultivator is more um, bringing the, the straw under the ground. Yeah, it so basically you don't digs really them see. underneath. Exactly. Almost. So, um, so that's the first edition here. So, so this but is like depending on if you're using disc arrow or a cultivator or a plow, for yeah, example. Yeah. It's always going to be whatever whatever was on the field before. It's always going to look different. Of exactly. Course, yeah. Yeah. So how the ground has been so the, the plow is also um, yeah putting everything under the ground. So even more than than, than a cultivator. Yeah. Um, but all this stuff has also gameplay effects mm -hmm. uh, we improved the weed system there a bit yeah so if you drive with a disc arrow uh, you got uh, more stubbles there and this results after that that the weeds grow faster okay so you don't have that much time to to uh, get rid of the weeds mm -hmm. um, so it also has yeah some kind of gameplay effects. Yeah, i mean the main thinking behind the whole thing was that we want to reward the player for actually taking the time and, yeah. and working the field and like many different cycles and shifts. So yeah. if you take better care of your ground this way, that of course is going to uh, reward you in some way or another uh, within the gameplay loop. Exactly. So if you, for example, you use the disc arrow, you can also drive faster. Mm -hmm. So, and it also has a financial benefit because the disc yeah. arrow is normally a bit cheaper than yeah. the cultivator, but you don't have that much time for, for the weed um, to control the weeds. They always afterwards. got a balance. Yeah. So, if you got the so money. you have to choose. <laughs> and yeah, before in FS19, it was all the same. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's an improvement there. So yeah. All right. And you can also see um, our new, um, effects here they are similar to to the back of the combine mm -hmm. you can also see the the new the, particles effect in yeah the, back. the dirt that is uh, spreading um after the disc so we, yeah we improved that as well and added 
a whole new bunch of um, ground and soil effects. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's jump to another nice vehicle. Yeah, some might have already <laughs> seen this one on a screenshot or two. This is our Xerion, uh, our class Xerion saddle track. Yeah, one of my favorites. So. Yes, I think this is your personal baby. You <laughs> yeah. bringing it into the game yeah. from start to finish. Yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah, it's in my opinion the best pre-order bonus we ever had. So it's <laughs> not just a small tractor that is an addition. It's yeah, really yeah, a great addition to the game. Also for those uh, wondering, so if you pre-order the game uh, digitally uh, anywhere, you will be able to get the uh, class saddle track pack uh, for your game. Or you can also buy the game retail and it's going to be included uh, if you get the disc version in the stores as well. Exactly. So at the back of the of the Xerion, we can also see the um, tools from Kaveco. Mm -hmm. uh, we never had them in the game before, um, so they're also so, no. new. Um, so we got uh, at the back um, the slurry distributor mm -hmm. and um, yeah, the tank on top. And yeah, as, as you um, have seen probably already on the website, we got also the um, semi-trailed tanker for that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you if you need to um, have some more slurry, you can use that. Um, okay, so, but first, before we start to, to bring out the slurry, I want to have a quick look on, on the um, cow shed here. This is also new. Yeah, so it's from uh, Rudolf Hermann. Yes, it's the first time actually in game that yeah. we ever have like a branded like animal husbandry. Exactly, yeah, yeah, that's really a special thing. Mm -hmm. um, and they pr produce really great um, things here. So, um, yeah. Look at our cows. <laughs> Look at our cows, they're beautiful. <laughs> um, and they are eating there. Um, also from this side, a pretty nice one. And you can also um, open here all the gates. You can so, have a look inside, of course, yeah. as well. And also, There's also like the feeding area in the front. Yeah, so we improved here also a bit. Um, close this door if mm -hmm. you want. I mean, they seem much more interactive than they were yeah. before uh, compared to FS19. So you will have all these little elements around the husbandries. You have opening sheds and uh, doors basically and stuff like this. And of course, uh, you're already parked uh, near the uh, slurry uh, trigger right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's an um, yeah, underground slurry tank here mm -hmm. and you fill it then from the top. And yeah, we got yeah a bunch of little elements there on the placeables. Mm -hmm. um, Especially one one nice thing is the the lightning inside um, some some sheds we have. Yeah. So it looks the new lighting system of the yeah. whole, like the 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 interior yeah, design of exactly. it. Exactly. So yeah. if it's night, uh, you'll see those lights coming on. Yeah, and you can also toggle them manually, so you can yeah. just walk to the to the light switch and and turn it on if you need it. So um, let's drive to the field. Yeah, yep. and I mean part of this uh, of the. Uh, pre-order bonus like the whole saddle track pack maybe just to summarize again it's going to be the saddle track itself of yep. course and you have one of the Kaveco tanks already with a slurry distributor and uh, you mentioned it before the other one was the other tank yeah the semi tray yeah the semi, exactly yeah, yeah. so um, yeah m more for the for the bigger farms mm -hmm. um, yeah this one got um, 16 cubic meters. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, exactly. And the bigger one got a bit more. I don't know if the exact have, number. But if you have a few more cows and a few yeah, bigger fields exactly. to take care of, yeah. <laughs> maybe and that also, might be the way to go. And it's also good to, to, to mount a bigger distributor. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And But now, of course, a uh, new slurry distributor also means uh, that the ground is going to change again uh, once we get started so we see exactly. Stefan already unfolding this so, so if you want to fertilize your fields to increase your yield you can do that yeah so you can see it here yeah it's yeah maybe Doesn't yeah may, maybe like the the uh the, the pre-texture before isn't the best to show <laughs> yeah. but you you yeah. do see it very slightly yeah it's a little bit darker and yeah now if, if wetter stay, basically yeah, yeah also with the slurry the yeah one nice thing, also the um, 
here um, this front arm yeah i was so about to ask what's that in the yeah. front <laughs> so um, in real life that is used to to um get the slurry into the tank mm -hmm. so normally you have one tractor with a um, slurry uh, with a tanker yeah that is bringing the slurry to the field and with that one you um get the slurry into this one mm -hmm. and then um, distribute it on the field and yeah you can also unfold that and, and move it um also do you that as well um there you go you see it unfolding mm -hmm. And then you can manu manually control that. All right. Exactly. And I mean, something um, we, we have one more thing we want to show you guys. Um, when taking care of your field, when fertilizing them, um, when using like slurry distributors or also uh, like fertilizer sprayers, for example, we've uh, in the past, we've had like fertilizer levels. Yeah. Um, we had like uh, in, in FS19, we had a two and we uh, still have these in FS22. But now there's something new that we're bringing to the game for the first time ever. Yeah, so it's a pretty nice feature if you got a lot of slurry and want mm -hmm. to get rid of it. Um, and, yeah, and you so don't have much time. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, so normally you have to, to because fertilize. Because you need to get the, uh, <laughs> take your disc arrow out <laughs> before the weeds come in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so normally you have uh, two fertilizer states. Mm -hmm. um, so you need to bring out the fertilizer twice. Yeah. But if you got a lot of slurry, um, you can um, toggle this feature here. You see it on the top. Yeah, uh, activate is. double uh, application rate. Um, so if you activate that... Um, it will bring out the doubled amount of, mm -hmm. of um, slurry. And it's going to count basically as yeah. two fertilized exactly. layers so at once. Yeah, you drive a bit slower because uh, that it brings out the same uh, the, the doubled amount. Mm -hmm. so, so you drive um, uh, half of the speed. Yeah. But um, then you get uh, the doubled spray state. So with all these little like yeah geek features, as we like to call them, coming into play... Uh, I want to know from you what's the like main inspiration behind all of these is it something like when, when you're playing where you're saying oh this might be nice to have like what's that spark that gives you the inspiration behind putting <laughs> something like this into the game yeah it's sometimes it's it's based on user feedback yeah but also a lot of times um some of the colleagues come to me and say hey this would be great mm -hmm. um and then we, we just implement it so um and, okay. and sometimes also um, I think of, hey, this this would be cool if we improve that a bit. Yeah. So, so sometimes it's just little things that yeah improve it um, really well. So especially um, then maybe since it's already like there in real life, maybe there's a way to bring it yeah into yeah. the game. I think for me personally, the the whole new like gear uh, system, the gear shifting system, is a perfect example of. Why didn't we have it in before? I mean, yeah, it's, it's of yeah. course it makes sense, you know. Like yeah. you have it in in uh, when driving a car as well, um, but it always has to be optional uh, yeah. uh, as well. Of course, yeah. for those players that like, it's a nice to have, but yeah. and some might just like dabble around with it for a couple of uh, game time hours, but then maybe switch back. But it's always like the nice balance between uh, bringing in something new that makes it more realistic of course um but also having that in as an optional yeah. feature basically yeah. and it also ha it has to be implemented well so that yeah. it works that's the fine. thing mm -hmm. so we also could have brought uh, the gear shifting earlier but if it does not work perfectly uh, it's also bad yeah. so that's what so, i'm here for yeah <laughs> <laughs> breaking the stuff making sure it works hopefully correctly <laughs> All right. Well, I think with that, uh, hopefully we were able to give you a little bit, just a tiny glimpse of what's to come in FS22. 